just want to go ahead and uh, make you a quick video real quick. Um, if you're working with fan pages, obviously you're noticing about uh, all the changes with the timeline and everything else like that. And one of the questions that a lot of people were having was a way that they can go ahead and get the HTTPS uh, for their images, which is, you know, secure uh, hosting, you know, for their images. And one of the free ways that I found out, which is a great way to use, and, you know, I suggest it for a lot of people, is uh, Picasso Webs. And um, what you do here is, I'm going to just run through this with you, is you'll sign up. It's free. Of course, it's Google, so a lot of stuff from Google is free to sign up for. And um, as you can see here, it, it's going to show your albums. And um, once you click on one of your albums, you're going to see your images. And this is one thing that you can do is um, once you make your images for your uh, fan page, uh, what you'll do is you go to right here, you go to link this photo. And as you see, it's going to bring up two links, which this one, as you can see, has already got the HTTPS, but this is for your full album. So you, you're not going to want to use this first one right here. And um, right here, as you can see, it's got a one below it where it says embed image. And this is where you're going to get your link from. But the first thing you got to do is you're, you're going to select the size, which it's automatically it's going to show as a default. It's going to show a thumbnail at uh, 144 pixels. What you're going to do is you're going to take this down to large, which is 800 pixels. And you'll go and you'll see these two right here. What you're going to do is click on the image only, no link. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring up the HTTPS for just the image itself. And if you go to it, as you can see, that's the image. And you can see right here, it's already secure. And then the, the next thing you do is you're going to want to get the static HTML iframe tabs. And what you're going to do here is you're going to just click on it to edit your page if you don't already got it added, and which I already got it added to my example, but I'm going to just run through this with you. And uh, whatever page you want to add it to, you're just going to click on that one and click add, and it's going to go ahead and add it right to your fan page. And one thing about static HTML uh, iframes tabs is the first image, they're going to let you change for free. So, like, you get this default image, which will be the star, as you can see, like, right here. That's what you'll usually see here. But once you click on it, as you can see, it's going to bring you to the back and what you want public content before people like your page and what it's going to show afterwards is the content afterwards so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this link and you'd copy it and you're gonna take it back here and you're gonna put it into the HTML form to bring the image to show up which I already did right here as you can see this is my uh, my same uh, link that I already went ahead and showed you on the other tab and once you do that, you'll click All Save. And when you preview it, this is what you're going to see. And as you can see, it's showing it. It's secure. And you can just go ahead and it just prompts them to like the page and whatever. And then the, the other thing here is what I want to show you is this is how it's going to look. They give you... Uh, average of 810 pixels but it, as you can see here is um, if you pick the large image it's gonna give you 800 so this is how it's gonna look basically once you're all set up or I mean whatever you may be doing if you want to put a border on it like I did for this one is this is how it's gonna look 800 wide as you can see it's it, really it comes out really nice if you set it up with uh, whatever kind of uh, if you're using Photoshop or whatever may be the case to you know layer your images or put it all together whatever you know whatever kind of you know if you use a photo flexor for you you know whatever it may be that you're using to edit your images and stuff like that but um, if you upload them to Picasso 
you'll, you'll be able to have it all secure as you can see on the top here it's all secure and you can have yourself a nice looking page that the image hosting's free and it's all secure and you, and you got everything all set up for you which is very easy very simple to do like I said it's free to go ahead and sign up for the Picasso web albums for Google I'll leave the links in the detail box for you so you guys can check it out and um, I hope you like this video and I will see you on the next